We got a celebrity status trying to take on Hall of Rhinos today. Ain't gonna happen, Jace. You ain't adept enough with your mind to face Rhinos. This guy ain't in the room. He, he ain't even here. Oh, man. No, he wants to play. He wants to play. Why are they all so hard? Basic land cycling? Okay. It's not bad. That's bad. But my hand's not terrible. Especially since I went second. The basic land cycling's got me so slow. I also don't have any creatures, but that's fine. That'll sort itself out later. Don't worry about it. Why is this the only deck out here right now? Like, I'm kind of, like, I, I don't want to be shitty right now, but I'm kind of tired of playing this game because... This is the only deck I fight anymore, and people aren't even good with it. Like, I feel like I need to run a little tutorial on how to actually play this deck, because I have not seen somebody play it well in quite some time. I'm gonna grab a forest if you're cool with that, man. Seems okay. Your turn. Your turn. Both a little clunky with land, huh? We'll see what happens here. Marshall's coup is terrible against this guy. Finest hour is good, but it's not going to come up, I doubt. I doubt we even get to play anything against this guy. I doubt it even gets that far, because it seems like this guy might, in fact, know how to play this deck because he hasn't played anything yet. Like, the fact that he has played nothing means that he probably knows what he's doing. I know it can't be played, man. I was waiting on you. Let's pass it. Let's keep passing. Now, he does have Cancel that's just straight-up Cancel. Um, Thoughtbind can't affect Finest Hour, but... He just... He does just have straight-up Cancel. I'll let go for a minute. Whatever. That's fine. It's funny that, you know, turn eight, I draw my first playable. It's kind of cool. It's cute. I mean, eventually he just burns me to death if we do this dance. So eventually I got to play something. If he cancels this, though, from the battlefield, I mean, that sucks because I have to charm. And I don't really want to get rid of Charm. I could just Marshall's Coup. I'm going to end up losing everything if I try and do this. Remand? If it's remand, I won't waste the charm. It's just straight cancel. See, now that's a problem for me. Because I need a guy to land. But he can just burn this. And he probably will. And I don't have enough mana to face reward, which... I was almost just going to wait for that, but that's three more turns, and he's just going to have so much mana at that point that it's kind of insurmountable. So if he can't kill this, we're really lucky. If he can, we're in a lot of trouble. Interesting. That's not what I wanted to see. That's eight. So I'm a little bit away from being able to do Faith's Reward and Finest Hour. But I can Rock's Charger 
and Faith's Reward. So I feel like I should play the Rock's Charger to make it look like I'm terrible. So that he wastes something that kills both of them so that I can Faith's Reward. But then I don't have anything to back up the Finest Hour play. Remand, probably. I hope it's not the other cancel. I, I don't even know how many are in that pile. Two to three, I think. That hits, but he can kill this 3-4 when it lights up, obviously. But how? He has to use more than one spell to do that. Yeah, that doesn't do enough unless you have another one. Yeah, okay. Three cards in hand against this guy is pretty good. I don't hate that. So I play the Rock's Charger and I try and protect it with the Faith's Reward. That's really all I can do. And all that's going to really get me is a couple of attacks, but hopefully with, you know, Martial Coup, that's enough. I mean, that's kind of cool because now I have multiple ways to protect the Charger. But he's probably just going to cancel this, right? But there's really nothing I can do about that. I mean, that's life in the big city. Unless he thinks he can kill it, which is also fine, because I've got a lot of different ways to keep that alive. I've got two different ways to keep that alive against this deck. Sigil's Blessing's pretty good. Uh, what sucks is that I can't use both, so that if he counters Sigil's Blessing, I'm going to be in trouble. If I had two Sigil's Blessing, that'd be good. Oh, so he's got four open. I can't do both, because that deals four damage to, or three damage to my guys, right? I'll let that go and see what else he does. I'll try and face reward at the end here. He's probably just got the cancel on it because he's flashed me like every time. Remand here is amazing. I mean, that's really good play. Oh, just straight up cancel. That sucks. That sucks. Well, I guess he doesn't draw another card, so live to fight another day, I suppose. I'll just keep dropping down like one dude at a time. Your turn. Life gain's pretty good here. Him having three cards in hand isn't terrible. I mean, shit, we're... Usually this deck has a billion cards in hand through the remands and everything like that. Compulsive research, not great but not terrible because if he has to tap down the blue to do this then we're in business if he tries to kill it on my turn we're even happier because the sigil's blessing is going to play into that attack not a lot of blue over there he's having a lot of trouble getting the blue mana that might be part of what's keeping us alive card draw obviously a big problem here except he just tapped down the other blue did he play a mana for turn already because if he did then we're in we're in business we're off to the races I mean, at the very least, we're going to get in there and be able to attack him. So he hadn't played mana for turn, but he still doesn't have a blue. He's going to finally get it, but it's going to be tapped. So at six, uh, we just won, actually, because I get to Sigil's Blessing and kill him. Because that's six, seven, and then I get to attack twice. So all we have to do is make sure that I sigils, but I want to attack first and see what he does. Sigils blessing that guy. Yep, we won. That works for me, because I get another tech step after this. So, 20 life, move to second combat, attack seven. Well, attack eight, actually. 
There you go. I am tired of playing against this deck though. I mean, it's, it, I'll run a clinical on it and show you guys. You guys know though, cause you've been watching my videos and you guys, I like to think, know how to play that deck, but that guy wasn't bad. It's just that Rhinos is an unstoppable force of amazing magic might. I mean, what can you do against a Rhino deck? Apparently not a goddamn thing, unless you're humans. Thanks a lot for watching you. Never mind. We got one more. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. We're gonna do uh, one more match. We're gonna try one more match here Maybe let's <laughs> get in there and find out Oh, no, this is terrible That's not who you want to face the, the the one and only he plays first, but I forget. I've got devote. De de is it Don't get on me for this either, okay? It was this or another land. This is actually really shitty. I don't know. It depends on what he's playing. Really wish I went first. I bet you it's red blue. What a surprise. The only deck in the format. Buddy, you got pass. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing you can do. There's no Mem Knights or anything running around here. Nothing's happening. It's my turn. You know, I'll, I'll do the same. Why not? Grab this forest here. Put that down. You can look at it. I'll let you know what deck I'm playing. Thank God. So we're up against Demir, or yeah, D Terramorphic Expanse is Demir, I believe. That seems like it didn't work out well. Yep, Demir. Demir. Hey, can't kill rocks as long as I'm not stupid with them. So that's kind of good. I don't know if I pop this or not. I don't know that I necessarily need to. I mean, the wake up is not terrible on it. He's got flyers, which will be a problem until this fucker goes off. Just mop the floor. I'll go down too. It's fine. You got me. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Sure. You can't counter it. Rock Spore Monk. Why not? Got another one. Dubbing on them. So we don't look at these cards a lot. So this thing is this. I don't know. I, I mean, I honestly, it was this or another land, and I can't put another land in here. It's just not what happens. And I know they're just angel rhinos. Oh, how great would that be? Angel rhinos. Uh, This guy's trying to kill this. I don't care. I'll go to 16. You're fine. Because he's got the thing that's like an egg three or whatever. That sucks. I have to play my exalted guy. He's going to lose one life every turn. Morphin's got cumulative upkeep of one life, doesn't he? Yep. He loses one life. What the, did they do away with the term cumulative upkeep? That was a cool term. They don't really use it anymore, which is too bad. Well, I guess I just don't recognize it because they read it. They write it that way. 15, that's pretty good for us. We got this rocker ready to roll. It's okay too. Got another one of these. Last gasp on my 3-3 three, three, all main phase in it. Uh, I mean, he pretty much had to because he would have had to go it, move it, or do it moving into attack step, which would have kind of sucked for him. So, makes sense. Six damage. Okay. So that would have been cool there. But, you know, it's, I don't have enough mana for that kind of crazy shit. I probably shouldn't have played land for turn. I mean, I need to be playing way less sloppy with this particular deck. I need to start getting ready for 2015 because that's apparently going to be mad note craziness just popping off all over the place. I mean, the wake up's not really great here either. I'm trying to think because I don't know necessarily that I want to do. 
I mean, Marshall's coup into Devout Invocation is going to be really good, though, so I might as well just lay this. And then I'll just do... I'll just Gleam. And that's what we'll do. We'll Marshall's coup, and then on our next turn, we can... Devout Invocation, and that's going to shore this up. There's nothing that that deck can do against me once that happens. Um, what is the counter it runs? I lose two life. I think it's counter target instant or sorcery I, I, or non-creature spell. I think that's what it is. Counter target non-creature spell. I think that's what it is. I'm not positive, though. Hanging back for the blocks. I am going to go ahead and... Uh, You know what? No, I'm not. There's no reason to do that. That's absolute crazy talk. Yeah, because I'm ripping lands. Like, it's my job. Like, I'm a professional rand, land ripper. Attack. Because the wake up might be cool here. You never know. Because he might try and do the... Uh, but it'll be after... That'll suck. Oh, no, he's going to try and do it right now. Radical. Um. Yeah, I might as well do the extra damage. Counter Squall, you're going to regret that. You're going to regret that big time. That was not the thing to counter. <laughs> that was not the thing. Counter target, now creature spell. I know this game. Good old Count Squall. You keep losing life like a G, though, my friend. Marshall's coup is going to make you frown. That's absolutely the only counter in all the cards for that. I don't give a shit. Do it. I'm going to attack and then cuckoo cut you all over you. Attack me for six, man. Show some moxie, buddy. Yeah, get in here. Actually, you can't attack me for more. That's absolutely the right play because uh, what's its nuts exists. Final, fin finest hour would completely ruin his life. No, Sigil's Blessing doesn't win for me, but it might win for me with Marshall's coup. I attack. Then I'm going to coop all over him. Sigil's Blessing isn't enough here, and he would have blocked anyway, so it doesn't matter. I could gain more life, but who cares? This thing. Marshall's Q for five. I don't even have to do the... Well, I guess I could do the invocation and then Sigil's Blessing after that, but... Doesn't really matter. He's got nothing in the way of board wipes. So I can just tap all those down, get all my flyers, and then I've got, you know, like what, 10 creatures out? Lobotomy? That sucks dick. Does he get to pick one and get rid of it? It doesn't matter because either way you lose. Sigil's Blessing. Like, get rid of Sigil's Blessing because Devout Invocation takes a turn to beat you. Like, you have to get rid of the Blessing here because that's four, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve damage. You have to get rid of the Blessing. You have to wait for Devout Invocation to kill you two turns later. <laughs> like... I'm sorry, I almost called you a bad name, I'm sorry. But you're not very good at this game. Oh, unless, what do you have? Oh, but I can counter it. Oh, this guy is good, but I'm a bit better. Uh, attack. Yeah, stop. Sigil's Blessing, that guy. You're gonna go to kill that guy. Better go to kill that guy. Oh, so you're just terrible at the game. Okay, I would've countered it if you were good. Whatever. See you later. Rhinos! Winning matches. Winning matches. Well, we lose once. Did we lose once to humans? Did Rhinos lose once to humans? And then beat every other bitch deck? Like, yes, I think it did. I think it did. Demir, completely not in that equation. But we beat Red Blue. We beat Zambambarinos. We're just dancing on fools. Rhino deck. Know it, love it. Let's show it to you. Let's show it to you. Why not? I thought I was going to be ashamed of it, and that's why we weren't going to do it. We got 27 goddamn lands, because why not? Three Sigil's Blessing, two Marshall's Coup, four Rocks War Monk, two Dauntless Escort, three Behemoth Sledge, two Pariah, um, four uh, Bant Charm, one Wargate, 
Three Rocks Charger, an Ivory Mask, why not? Face Reward, uh, Finest Hour, Privileged Position. We got Gleam of Resistance times Du. We got Mere Sigil Surgeon, he's there, didn't show up. And we got Devout Invocation, of course, because Rhino Angels don't play. There you go, you guys. Build your own Rhino deck. Run around all the get get on Steam. Get because we're on Steam. A lot of you guys don't realize. I mean, it just shows up with the clicks because I like I like a controller. I play almost all my computer games with a controller. I know I'm not. I wasn't. Um, we were dirt poor. <laughs> so I I had like an NES till I was like 20. Like that was my machine. Um, no, my parents splurged on us. Uh, on my brother and I quite a bit. But they, uh, we, we didn't have like luxury items. So I didn't have a cool computer. The only computer I had until college was the, you know, shitty laptop that my high school gave us as part of our tuition. But the same year they started that program, they hiked up the tuition like $3,000. So it was a $3,000 laptop that was probably actually $700. But whatever, that's fine. Like, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> the point of the message is get on Steam. And I want to see a ton of friggin' Rhino decks running around. Show me your Rhino side. Come on, guys. Let's have some fun. Stop playing this friggin' red, blue, banana hammock bullshit. Like, I don't want to play that anymore. It's boring. I want to see people with just Rhinos. And I want to be like, is that what that is? And I want people to be like, yes. That's Technovolver. That's the Technovolver way right here. Rhino decks. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out my other channel, Technovolver, because that's where tech... And Tech Daily Duels comes from. Also, that's apparently my nickname now. So that's, hey, that's a rad nickname. That's way better than the one I had in high school, which was like Dick or Loser. Um, that's a Mike Birbiglia one, but I didn't want to actually say it out loud. It's pretty hilarious. Mike Birbiglia is a funny guy. Um, just ripping off his jokes. So um, I don't know, you guys. I'm flying high because Rhino's lost, like, one fucking match. So either I'm the greatest player ever or Rhino's is, like, the secret sauce in this game. Not sure which. Probably 60-40, right? Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out my other channel because there's cool stuff going on over there. Check out this channel if you haven't subscribed. Be sure to do that. Otherwise, I want to tell you thank you for watching this episode and that I will see you guys all tomorrow.